Hi everyone, I am very glad to have this opportunity to report my study in the Early Childhood Voice Conference. I would like to report our teamwork about digital parenting during the COVID-19 lockdowns, how Chinese parents viewed and mediated young children's digital use, which conducted by me, Dr. Chai Mei Dong and Professor Li Kui. Young children nowadays are dramatically di become digitalized in the early year, and their parents faced the challenges of practicing digital parenting as early as possible. Digital parenting refers to parental efforts and practices for comprehending, supporting, mediating, and regulating children's digital use. However, previous studies have found that many parents were reluctant to support and mediate early digital use because they concern about the negative impacts on early development. During the last three years, the COVID-19 lockdowns caused digital preschooling all over the world, and parents have been trapped in this hysterical transformation desperately and helplessly practicing digital parenting at home. To thoroughly understand how parents viewed and mediated young children's digital use during the difficult time, this study conducted a national study of China. First, let's get some ideas about the background of this study. In the digital world, parents have various views about young children's digital use. Some parents believe digital use is beneficial for young children's development, but some others concern about the impact of early digital use. The parents whose negative views could be took apart in two groups. The first group, reluctant digital parenting, well, the second group engaged in digital parenting. Falkenberg have found the three mediating strategies of digital parenting, restrictive mediation, instructive mediation, and co-viewing. Then, Levin Stolen and Halsper at the technical restriction strategy in 2008. Nikon and Jens found additional two mediating strategies supervision and technical safety guidance. But the digital parenting seems very different in various cultures. For example, most American parents supported their young children's early experience with digital technologies because they believed it would be beneficial for children's development. In contrast, Spanish parents shared a pessimistic attitude towards internet use in early childhood and adopted a wide range of parental control. Furthermore, Portugal parents turned to view digital devices as toy, an effective way of keeping children entertained. These findings imply that digital parenting might vary in different cultures and contexts, adopting different mediation strategies. So how about the digital parenting in China? Chinese parents have been well known as Tiger Mommy since Amy Kua published her book Battle Him of Tiger Mother in 2011. In Chinese, the term tiger is a good metaphor for a strict, demanding parent with high expectations for their children's academic success. Some studies have supported that Chinese parents tend to control, regulate, or mediate their children's digital use more than European and American parents. 
but existed evidence focused on schooling children and adolescents. How about digital parenting for young children? We use the ecological system theory as a framework of this study. In the ecological system view, the COVID-19 changed the chrono system combined with the national ideologies and cultural values in macro system consequently changed the macro system of young children and their parents. So, we posed three questions for this study. First, what are Chinese parental views of young children's digital use during the COVID-19 lockdowns? Second, what are Chinese parental views of their roles in early digital use? Third, what are the mediation strategies commonly used by Chinese parents during the COVID-19? 19 lockdowns. We designed a questionnaire named Home Digital Practices Survey and sent it online to parents of young children. Respondents of 2,491 are valid. This study analyzed three open questions of HDPS qualitatively. How do you view young children's digital use at an early age and why? What, in your opinion, are the role of parents or caregivers in young children's digital use and why? What do parents need to do to guide young children to use digital devices appropriately? Now, let's see the result. First, about 25% of respondents held positive views of young children's digital use and believe digital technologies could be useful tools in early childhood education. Some of them believed that using digital technology would help children learn more knowledge and skills, adapt to social environment, and some of them perceived digital technologies as a valuable tool for digital parenting. And uh, nearly 35% of the respondents were against early digital use. They concern about the harmful effects of digital use, such as threats for physical health, harm for learning, and addiction. About one third of parents indicated they were aware of early digital use, positive and negative sides. They were open to young children's digital use, but emphasized the appropriate technology use for young children. Look at the table two. Chinese parents believe that adults should employ several main approaches to mediate young children's digital use, including supervision, active mediation, restrictive mediation, and co-use. Supervision means that parents allow young children use digital technologies, but with the management by overseeing a nearby parent. 36% responders believed that parents should supervise young children's digital use. Active mediation consisted of talking about the digital use while the child is engaging with the digital technologies. Nearly 24% responders reported employing these mediating strategies. Restrictive mediation involves setting rules that restrict the use of digital technologies, including restrictions on time spent, location of use, or content, without necessarily discussing with the meaning or effects of such content. About 19% responders emphasize 
the adults need to restrict young children's digital use to minimize the negative impacts on early learning and development. Co-using signifies that the parents remain present while the child is engaged with the digital technologies, thus sharing the experience of digital use. Approximately 16% of respondents states that parents should co-use or co-viewing digital technology and media with young children. We explained these results based on the ecological system theory. According to Bronson Brenner's ecological system theory, COVID-19 pandemic made changes at chrono system and the macro system level and then eventually influence children and parents at the micro system. For example, in 2020, Chinese parents generally had negative beliefs about the values and the benefits of online learning. But in 2021, there were uh, 27 percent Chinese parents hold positive views on early digital use. That may be because the COVID-19 lockdowns have convinced more Chinese parents to accept early digital use as a replacement for face-to-face -face learning activities. And the online experience during the past year might have also helped Chinese parents recognize the value and the, the potential of digital technologies for early learning and development. In summary, that social change, an inherent culture at the Microsoft system, micro system level, influenced parents' view and mediation strategies of early digital use. In China, Supervision and restriction is the most preferred mediation approach for digital parenting. This is because young children are always seen as innocent, needing protection and supervision from the adult world. This finding has captured the Chinese culture specifically aspects of high level parental involvement and the parental control in early digital use. That is a feature of authoritarian parents. All right, in summary, we surveyed 2,491 Chinese parents online and found that Chinese parents held mixed views of early digital use with some being positive and negative and balanced or ambivalent. Second, many Chinese parents were concerned about the negative impact on early learning and development. Third, Chinese parents mainly perceived their roles as guides and supervisors in young children's digital use and adopted four typical mediating approaches, supervision, active mediation, restrictive mediation, and co-use or co-view. The findings imply that Chinese parents were not ready to cope with the challenges caused by early digital use. Thus, they might need more guidance and support for digital parenting. Thanks for your listening and welcome to contact me if you have any questions.